you don't watch that, watch this. Yep, I'm back at long last with a wood turning video. Very special bit of wood. Stay tuned, see how I get on. Hello folks, I've finally got a wood turning video for you. And I've got a very special bit of wood. Um, here it is. This is 5,000 year old bog oak. And it was sent to me by another YouTuber called Dick Mills. And uh, there you go. Check him out, wood turning with Dick. I'll put a link in the description. But I feel under pressure to uh, do a good job with this. It's a very, very valuable piece of wood. Um, and it is very challenging to turn. He does a good job, he's uh, done a few of them. But um, it's very hard. There's a few nasty cracks around the edge and I wanna try and keep this natural edge. Uh, so what I'm probably gonna do to start with is um, just make sure it's a bit more round on the bandsaw and then probably fill some of the cracks. I've got some black CA glue from Starbond and I'm gonna put some of that in there or some dark brown I've got as well, which I might use. But it's a beautiful bit of wood. I feel quite nervous about turning it. I really uh, want to do it justice and uh, but we'll see, uh, see how we get on. I know it's messy to work with. I have used bog oak before. Um, for knife making and things and I love it it's one of them you know it's a favorite wood of mine but it does get some nasty shakes running through it like these so uh, let's see how we go I've rounded it off a little bit more on the bandsaw and I'm just chiseling out uh, a bit for the face plate to fit into now so I'll get a nice secure fixing just screwing that on and uh, make sure it's nice and secure then onto the lathe Here's some Starbond Medium CA glue, and this is brown colour. And I'm filling these cracks because I don't want to lose this edge. I want to try and keep the natural edge. I'm using some accelerator spray here just to uh, get it to set quick. Well, I'll spend a bit of time filling up these cracks. I did have a little bit of trouble later on, as you'll see. But uh, start off with a half inch bowl gouge. I tend to do this because it copes better with the thump thumps with these uh, pieces that are out of round and out of balance. I'm just using the half inch one just to rough it down. Getting the basic shape. I'm truing up the base there. And I'm then switching to a 3 8 bowl gouge. Marking out the uh, tenon to go in the chuck jaws few push cuts there and then a skew just to create me a little dovetail I'm trying to keep to as many push cuts as I can now if you look here I'm turning left handed here trying to preserve the uh, natural edge and I have a little bit of a calamity if you'll see the uh, my hand you'll see this line of uh, CA glue spraying up it and this is where there were pockets of uncured glue within the wood. Because the wood was so dry, it hadn't actually cured deep within the cracks. And as I exposed them, it sprayed. There you go, that's why you should wear a visor, or another reason to wear a visor. Luckily, this had a peel-off cover. So, uh, otherwise it would have destroyed the visor. Anyway, refilled the cracks and uh, then left it for a bit to uh, cure properly. Here I'm just trying to do as many push cuts as I can because I don't want any torn grain. And it's actually cutting very nicely. It's quite difficult, it's very dusty and you get sort of more chips than shavings I would say. Constantly having to resharpen the tools. And here I was turning left hand just then, just trying to preserve that edge again. And then I'm back to right hand at turning. And I'm just refining the shape. Just keep going round until I've got a nice smooth curve. Just neatening up that edge. 
we're almost there then bit of sanding using a bowl sander from 120 to 600 and it feels really nice I had to do a little bit more stabilising of some of the cracks there was a big knot here I'm putting the SC4 chuck on with some heavy duty jaws on it removing the face plate and then that uh, reverses round onto the chuck jaws making sure it's all fully tightened up and then we can start some hollowing 3 8 bowl gouge I start off with the uh, fingernail grind the inside of the bowl is being illuminated by a little magnetic LED light that's actually hidden on the back of the uh, tool rest. Just gives you really good vision then. Starting from the middle and working my way to the outside with the hollowing. Anyway, I couldn't uh, finish the hollowing and I had to uh, leave it for four days. So I wrapped it up well in um, shrink wrap just to... Uh, stop any changes in moisture and I didn't want it cracking or distorting so I wrapped it up well so here we are four days later unwrapping it and it was still running true thankfully it's very dry but of course it can uh, absorb moisture from the air so on with the hollowing and uh, I switched to a different uh, bowl gouge um, for this deeper hollowing, for hollowing along the bottom of the bowl and doing the tighter radiuses. Uh, it's still a 3 8 bowl gouge, but it has a different grind on it. It's more of a traditional grind uh, with a 60 degree bevel. And I've just taken the heel off it as well so I can get round tighter curves. But it's much more effective for, for hollowing out the bottom of the bowl. So here I'm refining the shape and making sure I've got a nice even wall thickness. Just checking it with calipers. Trying to get rid of any uh, ridges or flat spots. I probably won't get rid of all the tool marks initially, but sanding will sort out any of those. Here I'm now switching to a Dremel with a little wire brush. And I'm making sure I'm going with the grain, but I'm get, getting rid of all the dirt out of these grooves. It smelt quite strongly of bog, as it is bog oak. But this was very dusty stuff that was coming out here, so I'm just cleaning it all up. I can then start power sanding the inside. You can't really use the self-propelled bowl sanders on the inside, they don't work quite so well, so I'm using the drill. Brushing out all the dust. Got a nice finish, and then we're on to Liberon finishing oil, which is one of my favourites uh, for bog oak and things like this. And you put a liberal coating on and let it soak in, and then wipe it away and let it dry before putting a next coat on. But it's looking good, very pleased with that. Then it's removing it from the chuck jaws, taking the SC4 chuck off. And this is an old block of wood I made a long time ago with a bit of non-slip mat on it. And uh, I sandwiched the bowl between that and a steb centre. So a big wide steb live centre. Back with my bowl gouge, just removing that tenon as far as I can right up to the steb centre. And then I've got one of my wood carving chisels. And I'm just knocking away the rest of that tenon. Uh, of course that had to be sharpened as well because everything gets blunted by the bog oak power sanding just to get it all nice and flat and smooth make sure it's padded underneath brush all that away well that's looking good so then it's time to brand it just got my logo on this uh, high powered soldering iron then of course we've got to oil the base well, it's a beautiful sunny day here in uh, southern England and uh, I've finished the bowl. This is the 5,000 year old bog oak that uh, Dick Mills sent me and I'll put a link to his YouTube channel in the, uh, uh, in the description. Uh, but it's an amazing bit of wood and quite awe inspiring that it's uh, 5,000 years old. It's been carbon dated. Um, difficult to turn but it gives a really nice result. Um, it's a natural edge bowl 
uh, there was a lot of dirt in the uh, edge which I had to brush out with the Dremel and a lot of cracks that I had to stabilise but it's just uh, a wonderful result I finished it at the moment with one coat of Liberon finishing oil and it's a little bit fingerprinty at the minute it needs to uh, set properly uh, I'll probably give it a couple more coats and I might even wet sand it between the coats using some 2000 grit you know wet sand it with the oil which I've done with uh, a gun stock I made recently it gives a very nice sheen but thanks ever so much for watching I have got some more wood turning videos coming up and uh, I've also been given a really nice um, new 3D printer which I'm going to show you in the next video but if you haven't subscribed please do please give me a like share and subscribe that would be really good and I shall see you all soon so here's a couple of turntable shots of the bowl it's a very sunny day and it does show off the uh, the grain very nicely it's a very dark wood um, and it's blacker towards the edge that was in contact with the bog but you can see it's oak beautiful grain you can see the knots and the cracks as well you can just see the remnants of some of the bark that hadn't sort of dissolved away rotted away and there's a few stills but it's got a lovely tactile feel to it and a nice weight very enjoyable to turn well i say that difficult to turn but an enjoyable result and there's some shots of it on the lathe and there's those cracks i filled in some lovely grain pattern again and there's that knot and that about wraps it up for today's video i'll see you all again soon Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. More rubbish coming soon.